Hi all, this is just another quick video uh, to just walk you through another uh, um, issue that a student is having that I think you might uh, benefit from seeing the solution to. Okay, so this is their character. They've got some steps along here and um, the issue is that um, when, they're the, when they're going down the steps, when the character is going down the steps, it's switching from the walk to the idle uh, animation. So let's see it here in action. So off I go walking and as it walks, it seems to be glitching. Not that obvious. You can't really see it unless you knew the animations, but it's, I'm told that it's glitching into the sort of the idle animations. So let me stop that. Let me play it again. And let me open up the animator to see, can I see it? So I can see they're in the idle, the characters in the idle. And I start, and I'll start walking. It's in the walking state. Yeah, I can see it glitching in. See it jumping in and out. So uh, the, the the student is, is indeed right. It does seem to be jumping in and out. This should be easy to fix. I look at the transition between walk and idle. I can see that it you, you're only allowed to go from walk to idle when the speed is less than 0 0.01. So the speed, which is sort of the horizontal speed, horizontal speed of the character, must be less being must be set that property, the speed property must be set to less than 0 0.01 otherwise uh, it wouldn't be allowed to happen uh, so into the code um, and i highlight this set float and i'm looking at oh, there you go i can see it's setting the speed to 10. so i'm going to go through all of the code to see where the speed is being set so here you go i set speed is 10 speed is 10 speed is 10 speed is 10 speed is zero interesting so um in the moving left and right so in this is their fixed update this is sorry their update function they're constantly calling move left and move right so in the move left and move right function they have a bunch of if checks so for example if you're pressing the d key the a key essentially all of those if checks are saying if you're going left or if you're going right and but if you're not going left and right so if you're not pressing the left and right keys but you are grounded well then set your speed to zero so that seems reasonable so in other words you're just standing still so keep moving down. This is running. Um, so it's set the speed to 10, set the speed to 10. This is jumping. That's the V speed. That's not what we're after. Um, uh, here's crouching. Ah, here again, I see setting the speed to zero. So if you're crouching and not moving left, you're setting the speed to zero. If you're crouching and moving left, well, I wasn't crouching, so that shouldn't affect it. Uh, but I see an else here. This is interesting in the else part so if you're not crouching and you're not moving so if you're not doing anything almost if you're not pressing the crouch key well then set speed to zero that seems wrong you shouldn't be doing that um except for in your move left and right function so i'm going to comment that out i reckon that could be uh, a problem and then i'll highlight set float again and keep moving on there you go. it goes again just setting float to zero if you're hiding but I wasn't hiding however if you're not hiding which I wasn't well then it's setting speed to zero again that it also seems wrong um, and again let me just highlight this to see is there anywhere else it's being set to zero no that's it so save it come back play and off I go for the walk I'm watching it does it flip back We fixed it. And that's it. Wish they were all that straightforward to fix.